That was a twirl. Twirl of the year, maybe. Obviously, we're showing you how not to play golf, but we're having a lot of fun doing it. Rid of those, he says. <laughs> those are alive and well. Good deal. Yeah. All right, folks. We got one today. We've got a special match. We got Drake from Golf Highway. We're playing Oak Island, the front nine. Uh, Drake plays at about a two, three handicap. I'm at about a, anywhere between a four and a eight. Predictions on the match. Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot of good shots couple bad shots but it'll all stack up to come down to a strong finish I think it'll come down to a putt and uh, that's that's my guess I think it's gonna come down to the last hole we're gonna have a fun match two lefties and uh, I'm predicting a one up we're not gonna play nine I'm gonna win on eight we're also gonna play the back nine on Drake's channel golf highway and uh, that'll be a different feature. But for now, let's start with the front nine. I wish you luck. May the best man win. This is a 429. 429, par four. Drove to the blue tees initially. Uh, Drake said we're playing blacks, so I'm kind of in a, in a pretzel right now. Got the driver. Hole plays pretty well for me, actually. It's a dog leg left. I typically fade the ball a little bit, but sometimes uh, it turns into a pull, but see how she goes. I mean, this hole plays a lefty nicely. Uh, lots of room right. 430 yard par four. Just have one up the right side of the little fade. <laughs> Lost the first one in the trees, in the leaves, as you can see. Little challenging to find the ball in here, so I'm just gonna drop one. We're playing uh, bush lateral today, so hidden tree from the trees. Ooh, just off the back left. Okay, uh, I didn't really zap it, but we're just outside 150 to the middle, so I'm just gonna play a smooth nine iron here. Come on. 
All right, so we're right up against this bush, so I'm taking an unplayable here. Um, just gonna take a quick little drop, and we are now hitting four. Uh, we didn't put anything on this match. What are we doing? Are we doing? Are we putting uh, putting some money on the match, or what should we do? Uh, sats. Should we play for some sats? Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll play for some sats. Ten bucks a nine or something. Sure, sounds good. We'll convert it after. We'll actually put it right on the screen right now. Okay. All right, George got this putt for the win. I'm in for double. All right, that's good. All right, first hole sponsored by Tim Hortons. Double, double, tough start for the boys. A little rushed. Group behind us here, we're gonna let them through right away. It takes a little bit longer when you're filming stuff and uh, easy to get a little bit anxious, so. Got the first one on the way, we split her, and now for uh, the best hole in the course, or on the front nine anyways. Uh, hole two, par four, 330-ish yards, dog leg left. Um, just gonna hit a four iron up there. Alright, uh, just inside 150 here, it's a little downwind, I think I'm going to play just a soft P wedge. I'll play. Button. Button. You got this whole fairway back here, so you can't hit it too far. And uh, we decided to play no range finders today to save a little bit of time. So I got about 105, I'd say. Gonna aim for the middle. Drake's on. Need a shot. I like this. Shot. Alright, uh, got a little breaker here, it's probably, I don't know, I'd say about 20 feet, 25 feet, breaking pretty hard down to the left. Let's see if I can put a good roll on it. I'll get four. Thanks. Got a birdie putt. Favorite hole. Needed some after the first uh, first hole, so this is going a little bit left, uphill a bit. Um, I'm gonna try to stay on the high side here. I think that's my putting mentality lately. So you can hold me to it. Side. Oh, damn. Good for it. Thank you. Fuck, I even said it on camera that I was going to be on the high side. <laughs> Mother Oh, okay, yeah, I'll take the part. Hole number three. 343. Uh, looks like these were done this morning. Got a bunch of. Uh, Aeration looks like little turds. 
we're dead into the wind here, so I'm hitting DOD, but we'll see, we'll see how we go here. You heard the man. Uh, got some mines here, but we'll, uh, we're gonna tear up and hit and driver. <laughs> that did not look too good. <laughs> Where to? Oh, I went in the, uh, I think I went in the reeds. Okay, well, didn't hit the greatest try, but I'm in play. And I got about 125 out, which is more than I wanted for the short hole, but we're dead into the wind. Uh, I got a 9 iron here, got a front 10. So I want to keep things uh, a little bit longer if possible. I don't want to be short here. So I'm going to hit a little knockdown 9. After further inspection, my ball is in there somewhere and it's red stake. So we're just going to take a drop and hit three from here. And what were you worried about? Sharpie? Uh, yeah, no, I. this is my third time <laughs> rewriting a Sharpie line on my ball. So um, might be running out of ink soon. <laughs> Uh, I got about 70 yards to the pin. Uh, I'm just gonna hit a 58. See if I can knock her close. Yeah. Alright. Oh boy. Gotta pluck hard. Not much to this one, I wouldn't say. The rough's not really working with me here, and it's pretty thick. Um, fairways are mint here at Oak, but the rough is uh, is tough. So I just kind of got a lander in the fringe, I think, pop her on, and hopefully get up and down for the par. All right, I got about 20 feet coming back down the hill. Going to be breaking off my right. Let's put a good roll on it for par. We got a, I'd say four or five feet here for par for the win. Uh, pretty straightforward putt, gonna go a little right. But I got yesterday's cup right in front of my ball here. So personally, I don't know how to deal with this. I think I'm just gonna try to push her through there and hope for the best. Um, I'm sure there's somebody out there who could tell me what to do, but I do not know. So I'm gonna power through it and uh, hopefully put her in the cup. A little bit more speed than usual, I think, here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wasn't, sure. too, wasn't too speedy, but she worked. Where to go, right side of the hole? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take her. So this is the, I'd say one of the more Notable holes on the course. It's a par five, 502. You kind of got to go straight and then left and then back to the right. So, what do you call that? Double dog leg? Uh, this is actually going to be helping me. Wind's coming off the lake, uh, so it'll kind of straighten out my fade a little bit. And I've never played this course from the black, so I think I'm going to try to keep her safe instead of getting too risky on the left side here.
right down the fucking pipe. All right, uh, par five. So uh, I think I'm just gonna play one up and over the corner and be a little risky. I'm gonna try and pull it so it stays right. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we found the rough, actually. I thought it was in the fairway, but rough's okay. Um, this is back to the left and then right. So we got the deuce up there. We're gonna see it in just a second. But I got about 250, kind of into the breeze. Uh, so I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Pretend there's like a green at the 100 yard marker and try to put her there. I actually got a lot pretty close to the deuce. Heads up, deuce. All right, I am going to do the same play as Jor. Uh, just taking a nine iron and putting it up there to about 100 yards. Right over the deuce. Right Ex over Explain the to deuce. the people what the deuce is first. All right, so the deuce is, it's a wild species. Doesn't happen often, but it's uh, when you get a, a mix between a nice little Canadian goose and a duck <laughs> blended into the deuce. No. <laughs> With the deuce. Uh, spectating here. I got about 80 yards, I'd say. Try to aim a little bit left. Hope it comes in. Hit her high. Find the green and get a look for uh, the bird. Bird is always pretty good on this hole for sure, especially on a windy day. Before you talk about the shot, tell us what just happened with uh, some locals there. And All right, so a couple came up to us, a little curious about what we were doing. Obviously, we we're showing you how not to play golf, but we're having <laughs> a lot of fun doing it. Um, but no, they gave us some more intel on the deuce, which is actually named Bruce. So it's <laughs> Bruce the deuce, and he's actually a snow geese that just kind of hangs around hole four at Oak Island and has a good time. So. Anyways, what's up with the shot here? All right, yeah, so I left myself uh, with way less than 100 yards in. I think I have about 50 yards or so to the pin. I'm just going to try to play a little, a little low skipping 58 in there that checks up nicely. up a little more. All right, got a pretty long putt. I didn't I didn't sense it was not going to check up, but she rolled out. She was a low skipping not spinner. Uh, I got about 30 35 feet here, breaking down to my left down the hill for bird. Let's make it. Didn't break as much as I thought it was going. Huh? No, good speed though. Thanks. You can have that. Thank you. Good par. Well, that's a nice angle. Nice angle of me there. Well, I'd like to tell you what's going to happen here, but I don't know myself. Got a bit of a ridge I got to go over. Then it's going to go a little that way. So we'll just hit a good putt, hopefully get a bird, and uh, take a two up lead here. Damn. Good roll, nice par.
So we got hole five, par three, 173. Uh, I still got the blocks, even though the blocks are all non-existent today. We're just making our own. Um, but wind's helping a bit, coming off the left a little bit. Uh, I got an eight iron. I don't know if I can get it there, but as always, we're just gonna hit and hope. Trouble. 173, I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Just don't wanna be long. That's basically the play on this one. I just do not wanna be long. So hit a good nine, let the wind do the rest. Nice thing about missing the green is uh, you don't have to fix a divot. So I got a little pitch here. I'm with the green, green sloping that way. Uh, what I don't want to do is run it off the green because it looks like it's kind of running straight past the pin. Drake's in a good spot. So I got to get up and down here. have got to be shitting me. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby. You got to be joking me right now. <laughs> uh, he said he was going to beat me on eight. He might be right. <laughs> God dang. Fuck, I knew as soon as it was about right here, it was slowly breaking back in there. Yeah, hell of a two, dude. Hell of a two. Thank you. That was a great shot. I'm playing too much break lately. I'm gonna play this one a little, a little more attic. Okay, all right. Uh, George just chipped in. I mean, I have to make this to tie the hole, so I got about 15 feet. Been playing too much break lately, so I'm just gonna play this one left edge, and hopefully, I hit a good roll and knock her in. Playing too much break lately. Not enough break. Good too. Thanks, buddy. Ready, man. Fresh off the bird. Uh, unexpected bird. Always got to love those. Uh, we're on hole six, and it is three. Can't read it. Three seventy something. Dog leg to the left. Gets a little greasy on the left side, and I've been there a lot. So I'm going to try to keep this one right. You actually have a better angle from the to the green from the right side too. So if all goes well. I'll be uh, hitting from the right side here. Pink tee for luck. Just like that. Oh! Alright, uh, this is my favorite hole in the front nine. Uh, hole number seven. Six. Six. All right, well, I'm just gonna play a little five wood up there and hopefully leave myself a pitching wedge or something inside. All right, uh, hit one pretty good down the middle. Uh, left myself, I'd say it's front pin, so it's like probably 130 and change. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit a 50 degree wedge and hopefully put it tight because I need to get one back here. Oh baby. Look at that. <laughs> well, we found the bunker and it looks like there's a creature living in there. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't pop out mid-shot. But I get about 100 yards, no range finders today. So I'm scoping out eyes about 100. Usually I'd hit a 56 here, but I don't want to be short, especially with that pin. Um, so even if I'm 10 yards past, Drake's in there tight. 
Uh, so, need something. Zipped her back a bit though, we're all right. We'll take that. <laughs> Fuck, that was right at it. It was looking tasty. Damn. Always rake your bunkers, folks. Makes it nice to hit a good shot for the next person. What do we got here? I'd say we got about 40 feet, not ideal. Drake's about 10 feet for bird. Um, Nothing crazy here. I just kind of want to put a good stroke on it and she's going to be coming down to the right. So I just want to throw it up there. Maybe it'll come down. Always stay on the high side. Uh, give yourself a chance to make her. Okay. And I'm going to make it. I forgot to mention that part. put a nice swing on that last one so we got ourselves an inside chance here of making a birdie and getting one back um, say it's about 12 feet up the hill moving off the right side so let's put a good stroke on it All right, George's got a little cleanup work here. Seen what I did, hopefully he got a good read. It's up to him now to put a good stroke on it. Let's see if we can tie the hole and stay two up. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Guys on fire. Two up, three to play. Three hundred fifty-one yards. Number seven, Drake's favorite hole. No, it's not. It's but to be it's a great hole. Uh, we're dead into it. Dog leg left. Don't want to be too far here. Um, I don't think I could be too far from the blocks here. So I'm gonna hit one off the deck. Uh, start to right, and hopefully end up about one fifty out. That was a twirl. Twirl of the year, maybe. We're liking it. We're liking it. We are dead into the teeth here. Whoa. Yep. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought somebody hit at us. Uh, about 130, I'd say. Probably playing 150. Uh, left flag. They like putting the, the pin there on the left side tucked. I'm just going to aim this at the middle. Wind might take her a bit to the left. Don't want to be sure. That front left bunker is uh, a coffin pretty much. You're in there, you're toast. Been there before, so all we can do, hit to the middle. Middle of the green. A little more right than I want though, for sure. All right, uh, good drive here. Probably got about 130. I'm just going to chip a little 9-iron in there. I want to keep it underneath this wind. Oh, tight? that thing was close. Cracking! Another long one here. Don't love it. But we got a putt for bird. Uh, Sloped at the back, coming this way. Got to go over a bit of a ridge here. So honestly, not hoping for a whole lot here. Just kind of 
leave myself a little bit closer than uh, than last hole. So Drake thought his was a little bit better than it was, so he had me spooked there for a sec. Uh, but I think I just got a Kreza one up here. All right, uh, my ball did not get that close. I got a little too excited about it. Uh, looked a lot closer from back there, but still good luck up the hill. I don't think there's any break in this thing, so hopefully I can just hit a good roll and actually make a putt this time. Good par. Thank you. Jor has to battle some adversity back-to-back -back holes. Let's see if he can go back-to-back -back par saves for the tie. If not, I get one back on him. Never had a chance. Pushed her. All well, right. I'm a generous guy. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Only one up going into hole eight. Oh, that was a bad boat from the fairway. All right, uh, I took the blocks from Jor there finally. It took me freaking seven holes, but we did it. So, uh, hole eight, it's par three. It's playing probably about 190 yards. Uh, it's, the card says like 204, but. We'll play it 190, got a little help with us off the right. So just got to carry that water in front. Okay, so Drake had a seven iron here. I got a five. I'm a little bit older, don't have quite as much power, but I also just want to get it over there. Get her on, front pin, and Maybe I'll just throw one up there, a little cut. We'll see. Oh, that was a cut, all right. Two cut. Two cut each. Ooh, nice layup. Yeah, thank you. Okay, a little rushed again here. Don't love that. Uh, Drake hit the hazard, but we found it. Uh, so we're waiting for these boys to get off the green. I don't have much here. I just flared mine out, bailed. Um, so, you know, you know what to do here. Up and down. I think I got a line that's kind of into the small back. Hopper on. Oh, it died on me. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I just didn't uh, carry far enough. Um, got away with it. I honestly thought I was going to be like front right, but I am in the hazard and got to just try and chop it on and make a par somehow and get another hole. All right. Um, just happy to get out of there in one stroke. I got myself a pretty long one now from the fringe over there. So just try to put a good roll on it and hopefully cozy it up for a four, but I'd love to make it. So let's do it. Cozy it up, he says. Watch the beer. Well, I've been doing the exact opposite of everything I've been saying with my putter. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna blow this by uh, 15 feet and try to make the comeback here for, for a bogey.
Good roll. Damn, thought she had a chance. Nice four. Thank you. Win. And it's going to be on eight. Oh my god, <laughs> it's prediction. It might just come about. <laughs> Drake for the Bogue to stay alive. Could be the biggest part of his life. Damn. All right, uh, it was a tough one. There wasn't, uh, there wasn't a handful of good shots. There was a handful of good shots, but yeah. there wasn't, there wasn't enough. I didn't make enough putts. His prediction is right. He got me on hole eight. Uh, overall, it was a good match. Though. It was a good night. Yeah. yeah. Um, Beautiful weather. The people of Oak Island here are pretty curious. They see a tripod and a camera and they have to ask questions. So the front line took a little longer than we wanted, but they were really friendly. Uh, we learned the backstory of the Deuce, Bruce the Deuce. Uh, we talked to the old owner of the course here and met a couple that, no, a couple guys that were from uh, Brandon and uh, bought my old house or were looking at my old house. So lots going on. We had a chip in. Drake had a ton of uh, good birdie opportunities. Putter probably will heat up for the back nine when we're on his channel. Uh, but it was a good match. So we're gonna play nine here, and then we're gonna head to the back nine. You can find that on the Golf Highway channel. And uh, thanks for the match, buddy. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. What's your prediction? Oh, we'll do something up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. George's a, George's a gem. Let's play nine. All right, buddy.